character development a lot, but rarely are characters in serialized dramas actually developed. Bill will struggle in a way that will be useful as we see in this episode. That is what we need special and why it works. I hope you've enjoyed my living with you. And I hope some of these reasons in this interpretation are If you thought ghosts were terrifying, this mothman-like alien will literally 
Joke is the definitive Joker origin. It is, well, it's definitive insofar as the one the fans recognize as being the definitive one. DC's never really come out and said, this is the definitive origin of the Joker. If you ever want to know where the Joker came from, go read that story. And a lot of that's because DC Comics likes to leave it ambiguous. Because usually whenever they release a comic where it's like the new origin of the Joker, it always sells. And so it's better to kind of keep that thing alive as opposed to cutting themselves off the news. And everybody just sort of referencing like, no, don't read that story. This one over here is the one that you want to read because it's official. And so as a result of this, it's really more like a fan adopted origin. Having said that, it makes sense, right? The Killing Joke is the Joker story. I mean, for the most part, like you walk up to anybody and you say like, does the Joker have an origin? They'll say, not officially, but go read the Killing Joke. It's the closest we get, right? It's the one that everybody references. And so Jim Gordon telling Vengeance this story is based off the idea that in the last few years of the while Vengeance was engineered to want to kill the Joker, Joker. She has this desire to do it because he was programmed in her. And so if she's going to kill the Joker, she doesn't want to do it because she was told to. She wants to do it because she wants somebody else's motivation. And so that's why Jim Gordon basically tells the story. The Joker had shown up on his doorstep and shot Barbara Gordon uh, through the, the stomach, which of course damaged her spine, and she was paralyzed for quite some time. Now that of course led into the first real 
introduction of Barbara Gordon becoming Oracle, which is a great concept for a character. Of course, she ended up having her back healed by Lucas Fox, and then turned her body to go through and uh, become Batman again, like Oracle. But of course, when that happened, that Jim Gordon was basically taken by the Joker, brought to the sadistic theme park, and so and like forced to go through like this just hellish roller coaster to experience like all these images and all these videos of his daughter basically being brutalized by the Joker's henchmen. And what he talks about are all these experiences with the Joker in some of the fashion just the Joker, like it's just Gotham City, but it's a twisted and a screwed up place. And he even talks about James Gordon Jr. And the thing about James Gordon Jr., this is one thing to know, is that at the moment, he's a and, and we believe that he's dead. He really came back during the Batgirl comics, and what we ended up finding out is that like there was somebody going around uh, almost in a kind of Jack the Ripley fashion where they were like killing different women, and James Gordon Jr. was trying to figure out who it was. And his cycle <laughs> But it was a place for people who were looking to get their shoe in the door as like writers or artists in DC Comics, where they would just be thrown on Legends of the Dark Knight to see how they write, how they draw, to see whether or not it performs or, or has any real benefit for readers. And then 